expensive card. Now I know what you're thinking. Ben, what does this have to do with cheap Pokemon cards? I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Um, this one is just as expensive because of this logo right here and this number right here. This is not the point of the video. So let me get this out of here and actually show you some cheap Pokemon cards. So we'll start it off with the with the Gardevoir, with the Reverum, and with the Great Tusk. So the Gardevoir right here, this is actually the most expensive card on this whole list. Can you believe this? This one right here, according to TCG Player, is sitting at $23. $23 for such a stunning illustration. And man, this is amazing. The other one right here, the the Great Tusk, also from Scarlet and Violet. This is sitting on, on TCG Player at $6. $6 for this, can you believe this? And this is an amazing illustration once again. Holy moly. The most stunning thing about where this one though, the Reverum, which I pulled in my Obsidian Flames opening. This one is sitting at $4. It will continue to drop. Just compare that to the Sword and Shield era. Imagine if you didn't have to spend hundreds of, of dollars on an alternate art. Imagine if they were like $4. Really, really amazing stuff from the Scarlet and Violet era and of course Obsidian Flames. If this continues on, we're in for a really good time in terms of collecting. Pikachu and Mew, two cards from Crown Zenith. Not the only ones on this list, mind you, but two of these two are really affordable. The Pikachu is, is sitting at just $13 for such an amazing illustration. And if you compare that to the price of the Japanese version, this is an absolute steal. I know the texture is not quite on the same level, and also the, the yellow border isn't quite up to par with the silver border, in my opinion. Uh, for Pikachu, it works, though. For Pikachu, it kind of works because of the electric type. But this is a... This is an awesome card to buy at that price point. Now, the Mew as well. This one from Crown Zenith is also incredibly cheap compared to the Japanese version. You can have this one for about $7 currently on, on TCG Player. The Japanese version is like completely off the scales. So if you really wanted this, the Sleepy Mew, which I suggest you do, this is an awesome Mew card. I think this is a great time to, to buy this. Now there's another card I'd like to feature from Crown Zenith, another Pikachu card to be precise. Um, it's this one right here, which I fortunately don't have, so I, I have to put up a picture. Um, this is the Pikachu that you would normally get in a God Pack in the V-Star Universe booster box. And in Crown Zenith, you can just pull it as is, which is really nice. Illustrated by Koki Saito, which is one of my favorite artists. And that Pikachu can be had for around $4 if you find a good deal. Amazing rare Pokemon cards. Now, I only have one. There is, I believe, in total eight. And all of these are incredibly cheap. For example, this Yveltal can be had for like $1.50 with shipping. Are you serious? For for such a nice, nice card. And these amazing rares, these are so, so cool. Now, as I've mentioned, there are other cards than just the Yveltal. So what I'll do is I'll put up a picture of each of them, including the price right now, so you can see which one you might want to buy, but all of them are really, really cheap. I do believe the Rayquaza from Vivid Voltage actually ends up being the um, the most expensive one, but even that sits at like three euros fifty shipped. So there you go, all of them very, very affordable and very awesome pickups for the collection. Now here we are, Trainer Gallery cards from multiple different sets. We have the Superior from Silver Tempest, we have the Galate from Lost Origin, and we have the Mawile also from Silver Tempest. Um, just pretend this is an English copy, um, because the Japanese one is way too expensive. So let's just put these right here, most notably the Superior V right here. 
This one is featured in the in the thumbnail of this video, and I couldn't when I did the research for this video, I couldn't believe how cheap this card is. I believe you this looks absolutely stunning. This card right here, and it can be had for like eight dollars. Eight dollars for this card. Amazing. The Galate V. This one is even cheaper than the Superior. This one you can buy for about three to four dollars. Are you serious? Three to four dollars for this one right here. Jesus. That is one amazing one. And of course here we have the the Mawile also from Silver Tempest. This one is sitting for a near mint copy at four dollars. Four dollars. Like seriously? That is super super cheap. Now the Blaziken V. As I mentioned, just pretend this is an English copy. The Japanese one's way too expensive. So the English copy, also from from Silver Tempest. Um, this one can be had in a near mint copy for about nine dollars. And then there's also the V Max Blaziken, which I'll put up right here. Um, also from Silver Tempest, obviously. And that one can be had for just under $10. Both of them a great pickup for, for the collection. I really, really like these Trainer Gallery cards. Very, very awesome. Now, another card I'd like to mention is this Gardevoir right here from V Max Climax. This one can be had for about $3 on eBay. Now, of course, I had to feature some full art trainers on this list as well. So first up, we have Adaman. We have, of course, friends in Hizui, friends in Sinnoh, and I also have the the Dendra from Paldea Evolved over here. Now, let's start it off with this Adaman right here. You won't believe how cheap this one actually is. This one can be had for about $4.50 shipped, which is absolutely insane. Um, once again, illustrated by Koki Saito, as I've said earlier. One of my favorite artists, and this is an amazing piece. Now you might notice that the counterpart to Adaman is missing from this list right here, the Iridar. Um, I do believe the Iridar is still a bit too expensive, same goes for the Cynthia from Crown Zenith. And if the rumors are true, which I highly believe they do, about a reprint of Crown Zenith in October, then those cards might and probably will go down in price. And after that reprint, it might be a good way or a good time to, to pick them up. But not right now. Um, because we have other cards to pick up, of course. This Friends in Hizui, which, well, also features Irida, among other characters. This one can be had for about $8.50, including shipping on TCG Player. And then, of course, here is the Friends in Sinnoh, the counterpiece to the Friends in Hizui card. Um, this one is a similar price. This one can be had for $8 shipped on, on TCG Player. And then I thought I'd, I'd throw in the Dendra right here from Paldea Evolved. Um, this one is much more affordable than the Special Illustration Rare Counterpart. This one can be had for about $5 shipped for this awesome Full Art Trainer. Now, there are two more Full Art Trainers that I'd like to mention for this category. There is, of course, the Gardenia's Vigor, also from Crown Zenith. That one can be had shipped for about $8. And then there's also the Clara Full Art from the Clara Premium Tournament Collection. That one can be had for about $8, including shipping. Now, one thing to note about the Clara is that it is still an English exclusive card. This one has not been released in Japan yet, and I think it's kind of funny that we have something first before they do, because usually it's the other way around. Now here is two more cards where you just have to pretend they're in English, because the Japanese versions of these cards are way too expensive for what they are. Um, just pretend these are English. Let's start off with the Mew from Lost Origin. This one in English can be had for about $7. Next up is the Rayquaza from Silver Tempest. This one is even cheaper than the Mew. This one can be had for about $5.50, including shipping on, on TCG Player. Um, one notable card is, of course, the Pikachu VMAX, also from Lost Origin. Um, that one can be had for about $6 shipped. Two more golden cards that I'd like to feature in this video, if we go back a bit further to the start of the Sword and Shield era. 
are the Zashian V and Zama Zenta V from their respective Ultra Premium collections. Um, the Zashian V can be had for about $5 shipped, and the, the Zama Zenta V is a bit cheaper. That can be had for about $4 shipped. Two more golden cards I'd like to feature, this time around from the Sun and Moon era, are the Sogaleo GX and the Lunala GX. The Sogaleo GX can be had for about $5 shipped, and the Lunala can be had for also about $5 shipped. Both of those are really amazing. I wish I had them in time, but unfortunately, unfortunately they didn't arrive in time. Now, let's move it on to the last few cards here. Promo cards. We have the Charizard GX, we have of course the Greninja Gold Star, we have the Miraidon and Koridon. Um, this Charizard isn't a promo, I just thought I'd fit it in here, because it kind of makes sense, Charizard. We'll talk about this a bit later, so let me put this to the side. Um, this one right here, the Charizard GX from the Hidden Fates tin. This one, because it has been printed into Oblivion, is rather cheap. Um, this one is only about $5 shipped on TCG Player. This one, same with the Greninja, like this one, including the, the Celebrations um, ETBs, have been printed into Oblivion. This card is super, super cheap. Like, you can find this card, you don't even have to be lucky, you can find this card below $2, including shipping. And this is an amazing way. This is probably the cheapest way for you to get a Gold Star Pokemon, even though it can't officially be played in tournaments. But hey, you can still play this card in like a, a little fun challenge with your friends. Two more promo cards right here. I think I briefly mentioned them in the last video, are the Miraidon and Koridon from the ETBs. Um, the Koridon is, I do believe, a bit cheaper than the Miraidon. Um, the Koridon can be had for about $2.50 shipped. And the Miraidon can be had for, no, also about $2.50 shipped. Two very, very amazing cards. And if you're in the in the US market, you might even be able to pick up a Pokemon Center stamped one for the same price or even a bit more. Since I'm located in Europe, I cannot do that. Those cards are a bit too expensive for me. Um, just like I said, here is the, the Charizard GX. This one is actually from... Um, Hidden Fates. You can pull this card from Hidden Fates. There's also a, I do believe, Pokemon League promo of this one. Um, that one is a bit more expensive. This one that you can just pull in Hidden Fates. This one can be had for about $3.50. Um, kind of made sense for me to just fit it in right here with the other Charizard. Now, one last promo I'd want to talk about is this Pikachu promo. Um, once again, with so many of the other cards, pretend this is in English. The Japanese version, too expensive, don't buy that one. Um, buy the English version of that card, which you get, I do believe, from the Paldea Evolved Elite Trainer box. And this one can be had for about $4, including shipping on TCG Player. Just like last time, I have so many cards on this list right here that I can barely fit them all into frame. Obviously, you don't have to buy all of them. Just pick out your favorite ones and go with that. Um, I do highly recommend though buying the Mew, because the Mew is awesome, obviously. But no. It's basically whichever one you prefer. Um, speaking of prefer and liking, if you enjoyed this video, then a like would be greatly appreciated. If you didn't enjoy it, then by all means give it a dislike. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for future videos, perhaps. Um, right here, once again, there is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. And right here is the sub button. Uh, you should press this one first, and then you should press this one. And other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I hope we'll see you in the next one. Peace, peace.